So the purpose of this demo is to illustrate how to write a little program in the heck symbolic language and then run it on the CPU emulator. So I have two windows uh, opened up here. One is the uh, CPU emulator in the uh, foreground and in the background I have uh, a simple text editor that I can use to write my program. So let's write it. We'll begin with some comments which are uh, which describe what this program is doing. So let's uh, say um, um, adds up two numbers and uh, let's give some uh, usage uh, advice to the person who is going to use this program. Put the values. Uh, that you wish to add in uh, RAM 2, in uh, RAM uh, 0 and RAM 1 and uh, let's add here uh, some more information RAM 2 becomes RAM 0 plus RAM 1. All right, very nice. So uh, let us begin to write the program. I use some indentation for purposes that will become clear in subsequent units. So I do uh, at A, I'm sorry, at uh, 0 D equals M at 1 D equals D plus M and now we can put the result in 2 M equals D and that's the end of the program. Let's uh, save the program using something that you cannot see now because it's far away on the screen. So we want to save the program We'll give it the most imaginative name, uh, demo.asm. We save it. And now we can uh, go back to the CPU emulator and load the program. So I click uh, the load button. And uh, let's see. I should have a directory called program examples and here it is and demo is right here so I pick demo I load it and here's the program that I wrote now notice that uh, the program contains only the real instructions if you go back to the source we see that we have you know comments white space and so on so when you load a program into into the emulator you get to see or actually the only uh, instruction the only lines that get loaded so to speak are the real instructions and as these instructions are being loaded into this uh, GUI here they're also being translated into machine language and I can see that if I uh, change the representation here to binary and I see the program as it really is uh, inside uh, the ROM in binary code. But once again, it's much more convenient to see this program in, uh, I'm sorry, in, uh, in symbolic code. Okay, so I was told that I have to put some values in 0 and 1, so I go ahead and put the value uh, 5 here and uh, 7 there, and then I um, begin to run the program. So let's see, uh, we execute the first command and we see that uh, uh, nothing happens yet but a became 0 and then we do d equals m and we see that uh, the d register now contains 5 which is very nice indeed then we do at 1 and we see that a contains 1 let's do d equals d plus m we see that d uh, became uh, 12 then we uh, set a to 2 we do m equals d and uh, we see that, uh, lo and behold, RAM 2 contains 12, which is exactly what we wanted to get. So the program seems to be working.